Cool, okay. Well, well, thank you everyone for coming. And we'll get started. We're, we're going to do the intermediate kind of Morse code, but we're all going to interact with each other with our Morse keys and receiving and so on. Um, so that, that's what we'll be doing. Let me just... So our goal, basically, I've already given you some handouts. Let's, if we just take a look at uh, this handout, uh, we'll just quickly review it. Unfortunately, I forgot my um, glasses this evening. I got the glasses case and I don't have my reading glasses. <laughs> so that's number one. Uh, you should always remember your glasses. But remember, prerequisites, um, bring a Morse key to class and be prepared to use it. So the idea is for us to all interact and learn how to send and as well as receive. Uh, you should be able to uh, recognize the Morse code characters, you know, the alphabet at least and the numbers without too much worry. I know, how many of you have actually been practicing? A little bit, so you might be a bit rusty. That's okay, we're gonna start very slow. With five words a minute or less. And it's, it's plus if you can send more than five words a minute, you know, but. But emphasis on more or less, more or less. Yeah, so the, so the goals I've given here, you know, we'll meet every Wednesday for the next eight weeks. But I'll point out to you, I'm going to be gone the, the October the 9th. Uh, I've got a, a commitment that I have to be at, so we'll, we'll actually skip that week. So it'll be, we'll be here 11, 18, 25th of October, then the 2nd, and then of uh, November, and, oh, sorry, October. And then 16th, uh, 23rd and 30th, and then November the 6th. So there'll still be eight classes but we'll miss out October the 9th. I'll remind you as we get closer to it. And uh, what we're gonna focus on as well is uh, 100 words commonly used in, uh, on Morse code and in the English language. So, and I'll be handing out flashcards for you to use for sending and receive, sending to each other and so on. So make it easier for us. So you know what we're sending. Uh, so we're going to need, need lots of practice learning Morse code. And uh, when you s start to read, the, the pro if you would like to look at bullet number three on here, I won't, I won't, I won't read it all out. But I'll let you take a read of it. Um, it it's just a little bit of an example of when you start learning to read. So basically what I'm just saying is when you were younger, you start to learn to read and you, you, you know, you, you made mistakes and, you know, asked for a glass of water or a, a drink or in some cases the first words out of some people's mouth, well, I want a screwdriver, you know, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and then you progressed uh, as you got older, you got better and better at it. But Morse code is a little bit like that. It, it, you got to start slow, you got to start learning and practicing and you get better and you, see you get better and better as the more you practice, the more you get better at it, usually. So that's, that's that, what I'm getting at with that sentence there. Tips for practicing, there's a little few tips for you. Uh, don't, don't practice too much, but you do have to practice each day, otherwise if you lapse for a week, you might as well start from the beginning almost again. You gotta, you gotta keep going at it and practicing. If you don't practice, unless you're very, very good, you, you will just slide a little bit and you'll find it harder to bring yourself back up to speed again. And don't be discouraged if you don't get 100%. If you get 100% all the time, you've got a, a reader that's reading it for you. <laughs> <laughs> not all readers are very good though. 
and some aren't that great. And then we've got another, you all know about the keys. You've all got experience of different keys, I hope. Um, I use a straight key. Um, I like straight, straight keys. I'm interested in trying a bug key, but I, I haven't got into bug keys. I think I'll stick with this for now. At least I can use it. And you've got one, two, three, three bug keys. And AMX. Yeah. Well, I call them bug keys, but, and you've got a straight key. I'm, I'm forcing myself to learn the straight key. Yes. Well, that's all I've used for about 40 years, so we're doing okay. <laughs> so I'd recommend you, like I said here, go with whatever you feel comfortable with. A straight key to me is, I don't have to think about it. If I have to use uh, ambandi, uh, the iambic. iambic key, like James says, uh, I've got to think about it because it, it's, uh, it's a little bit more, you've got to get the dots and the dashes in the right place. Now this, we all know the Morse code, right? A, B, C, right through Z. You know what the A is, James? Did all. Yeah. How about, Dan, you know what C is, right? Oops, turned off. Yeah. And uh, Matt, you know what Q is, right? Yeah. Now, what do you find when you listen to that CQ? When you're listening to it? It's like is a it, song. It, there's a rhythm to it, right? Yeah. And it's those rhythms that we have to get in our minds. Because when you're actually on the air, if you hear... Are you listening to the da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da? Or are you listening more as well to the rhythm? That's yeah. the one thing I can I can pick up. I mean, like if I'm tuning, whatever, you don't hear somebody calling CQ, and I don't have any problem at all hearing it. Yeah, and and the rhythms the rhythms important. Like um, it's a rhythm. You you might not have got exactly what that was, but I'm sure Matt got that straight away. Test. 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 So it, you get the rhythms of the letters joined together. And, and uh, that's what we'll be building on is, is the sound as well as knowing what the character is. That's important. David, can you remember what the letter F is? You want to try sending that? Yeah, so that's what we'll be doing a little bit of as well. I'll send something to you and that you'll send it back to me. And that way everybody else will hear it. And uh, it's important, that's, that's what QSOs is all about, right? <laughs> oh, it's dying. But uh, you'll get that, that's cute, you know, on the radio, you're gonna get worse than that. You'll be trying to listen and you'll hear this big crash of uh, coming through the radio where there's a storm nearby or something or you'll have somebody else tune up right next to you. And you either have to got a very good ears with a good filter, uh, you know, so you, you've got to be able to distinguish between maybe two six signals sending to you. Or if you're contesting, like Matt will probably uh, verify, uh, there might be three people calling you at once or more. Yep. <laughs> and you've got to be able to say which one you're going to answer and try and contact that person, right? Um, you might get just the last two letters of his call sign, like IC, and then you'll be calling back you know, the not IC. How would you call back on that one, Matt? If some, IC question mark? Yeah. And do you remember what a question mark is, even though that's not on the list? Did he die? Did he die? Yeah. yeah, so it's... So it's very important to be able to do that kind of thing as well. But we're gonna to get to that as well. So, any questions so far? So let's go with, who's got uh, card number one? They've all got a number on the cards. Five, two, three, I have four. 
So one is somewhere. Oh, I've got, I've got number one, you see. So I kept number one. So let's start with number one and uh, we'll progress from there. I'm going to send you a letter. David, I'll send you a letter. Okay. And you can just send it back. But So what letter is that, everybody? Or just a, it's an A. So I'm going to send you another letter. That's cool. Uh, C, which we've talked about. You know what that one is? E. G. Yeah. So you got A, C, E, G. And that's important. So if you take a quick look at that, it's, if, you, if we don't get certain things right in the one we're sending, it won't come out in the words you want. So a dot, you got to remember is a dot is just a time unit. It's one unit. A dash is three units. So it's important when you're sending to think, have I left enough space? Because if you, if you run everything together, when I'm writing things down or you're writing things down, it could be an awful long word. So you, you need to give time in between. And it's okay to overemphasize between the w letters and words a little bit, but um, it's, we'll get into that more. So what about between each word? It's a, it's a dot between each letter and a dash between each word. Right? Well, take a look. Between each word, you've got seven units long. So seven dots. Some people might cut it down to five dots, but you need, between each a word, you need a longer space than you would just between the words that make up, the letters that make up the word. So the, between each letter, you've got three dots. Does that, does that make sense to everybody? So the, the timing is important. And if you have perfect timing, then you might be a computer. <laughs> Which I'm sure you, a lot of you um, may use FTDigi, uh, CW on that, but you can use, uh, use that. Is, is there, are there any other programs that out there that you might think of, James? Um, I know the log software and, and, and N3 FJP. Yes. That has macros. Yep. But it sometimes it's built, you can like get them built in your gear. Like the wind gear has got some buttons there on the top. And, you know, you program whatever you want and just press a button. And like on field day, when we're doing field day, uh, yeah. there's macros built into the software, the computer. You can hit that one key and send the CQ and so on. That's how I do contests. I usually don't use my key at the contest. I use only the keyboard, the macros, and uh, if there is a question, you can use either these or you hit Control K and you can type in whatever you like. Uh, it's much faster for me because I'm not so familiar with get, uh, sending up most of the uh, key. Yeah. Oh, a lot of people do that. Uh, James likes doing that with his key. Yeah. Uh, with the keyboard, he's, he'll sit there. He's, he's so fast on typing that um, I, I think that's probably why he says, well, I can do it just as easily using the keyboard. Why bother with a key? But it's important to be able to use both. Um, uh, I agree. Uh, one of the funniest things I ever did, and it wasn't Morse, it was PSK31. Uh, um, you know, macroing out, you know, you can macro PSK31. And uh, all of a sudden I, I, I'm calling CQ and I get a guy back and all of a sudden it's really slow. like. You know, I'm not getting the macros with the nice formatting, the dots. And it's a guy, he's, he's using CW lingo, like HW space, CP space, question mark, you know. I'm like, what on earth? And the guy says, eventually it shows up. I, you know, rig, LE craft, <laughs> KX3, you know, I am sending more, you know, he's sending it with the paddle. So uh, I was like, holy moly. Uh, <laughs> 
PSK31 with a paddle. Yeah. So apparently the LA Craft Radio is to do that. You can send Morse code, but not really Morse code. So that's what this guy was doing and had a QSO with him. Yeah. Of course, I, I can't use macros at this point because I, I think it's turning it. Does it? I don't know if you're familiar with an LA Craft. I'm not sure if it's turning it into dots and dashes for him or it's easy. Oh, it's easy. Have a display. You okay. see it's, it's uh, coming from left to right. Yeah. And it disappeared, so you have to read it uh, at, at that time. Yeah. yeah, and you can do RTTY, I believe, and uh, PSK31 with it. Oh, so that, that's cool. So, Dan, what, see what letter you get here. Oh, G. G? Yeah. Everybody else get a G? Mm -hmm. C. Yeah, cool. T. E. 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 Oh, sorry. E. And then. A. So A. Everybody else get an A. Cool. So James, see what you get. Yeah. So that's pretty easy. Now who's got number two? Dan, go for it. Do the, just what I've done, repeat it with everybody else. Who are you going to send to first? Correct. You want to try with Matt? You can mix the letters up. You don't have to. Okay. F. F. D. Correct. H. Can we say again? I had a question mark back out here. Okay. D. D. Cool. So, you want to try David? See if David can copy the same things. E. F. H. E. Correct. So that's good. So, so now you get the feel of how we want to kind of learn. We'll move on to number. Do you enjoy doing that? Yeah. It was. It was. It puts a little bit of pressure on you all. But remember, we're we're not machines. We're allowed to make mistakes. Or you can say, "I'm sorry, I did, don't know that one." And it, it, you might get one. Some sometimes you might be receiving, and you suddenly get a blockage. One letter, you just you know it, but you, we heard it, and it, there's something just doesn't connect in the brain. So it, it can happen. So don't don't feel too bad, but what we used to do, and I used to have to write down tests. Um, you know, you just keep writing. If you miss something or a letter, just miss it, leave a little space. Especially in plain language, you can go back later if you need to and read it and put the letter in that you missed. Usually, so it can it can be just as easy as. The thing is, if you miss several letters, then you probably really not going to be able to build it back up. It's a scrabble then. <laughs> so James, are you got number two or three? I have number three. Okay, let's go number three. You try the same. I'll send this to you, Dan. Sure. All right. All right. Hi. Okay. Dan. Oh. Yeah. 
Sleep. Oh. Awesome. Cool. Matt, would you like to send to someone? I can go. I'm full. You're full. You want to start? I'm fine. Okay. All right, Dan. You ready? Sure. I'm fine. Five. Oh, so you've got them all mixed up. Okay. That's fine. Hello. Don't forget to send it back to him. Oh, okay. Try again, just same letters and same letters. Right. Uh, yeah. The whole idea is so you can both practice sending, receiving, okay. and, and that's what the, the course is all going to be focused on, sending and receiving, and building up our speeds. And if you notice, we're not really writing anything down. You're listening, you're going slow enough where you can hear the letters, and you can repeat the letters. And that's what Morse code, eventually, you'll be able to get faster at not writing it down. And, and you'll be able to just know the, know the uh, letters and then build up into a small sentence, which is good. That, that's, that's the goal of one of our goals. Are you all wanting to get that to that point? Yeah. So that, that's what we've got to shoot for. And that way, when you get somebody sending to you on the, on the radio, you don't have to look at your pad. You just go straight back on with the key and reply to him, or him or her, that is. So I think it's Matt. You number five. Yeah. Cool. All right. So what were the letters, uh, David? Last one was W. Uh, there was an S in here somewhere. Try it again. All right. It's a G. G. It's a U. It's a W. Yes. Yeah. Cool. It's important to actually say the letters as well at the moment so that uh, you're getting reinforcement in your head that what you heard is what you're confirming, which is, is the important part of learning. So it's like when, when you were young and you start to learn to read, uh, you would speak the letters and you'd have someone, you'd confirm that back to you somehow. And it's important to get that recognition that what you send is what's received. Otherwise, it could be a different thing altogether. So that's good. So let's move on to another. You want to pass those around? Another card. Another card. <laughs> Number two. Okay, of course, I don't have any glasses to be able to read, um, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to send something a little bit different, but it's it's on the same line as this, and uh, see what you get. Z. 
Z. Two. Six. Six. So that's correct. You all got it right. You want to go ahead, Dan? Okay, James. Uh, here we go. Excuse me. R. Okay. Don't forget to send it back. Correct. Send it again. That's fine. Okay. I do. I do what Dave Dave Anderson says. Don't do. I would do it. I don't know why, but I count. Yeah, I'm right. supposed to. I can. Dave always says, well, you know, like if somebody's trying to learn Morse code for the first time, and you're talking to them. Dave will always interject and say, whatever you do, don't count. But on the numbers, for some reason, I I always count. I mean, in, in my head, obviously, but I know you're not supposed to, but. I'm trying to get the, the sound. It's, it's, the, it's the rhythm that you got to work on, it, 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 the sound and the rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm like doing E. See, was that three or four? Send it again. Like E, I, S, H. Uh, that was H, right? Yeah. That's five. That's five. five. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's like it's the sound because I, I don't. I think it's like seventeen words a minute. I got it set to roughly, and it's just just fast enough where I can't count the dang things. I think you said in the first class that you don't. You should be so fast that you can't count them. That's correct. Just get the rhythm. Yeah. It's yeah. important to slow down so you, you, you once you get the rhythm. Once you can hear it and recognize it, then you can build on the speed. Yeah. Um, now, if if you if you're having if you ha struggling at 17 words a minute, um, then it's best to back down just a notch. Oh. It, to give no, yourself. I'm counting it, I don't want to count it because that, that's a that'll. I've read that that will limit your speed, right? Well, it, there's different schools of thought. Um, I've, I've, when I was teaching Morse code back in 1973, 74 at the college, um, there was one guy in the class who'd been there uh, a year longer than I had, and he had got to 18 words a minute. But to pass the test and pass the exams, 
you have to be at minimum 20 words a minute. So my job was to, and I was a student, I was actually, the, the lecturer had asked me to coach the class in CW. And, and I was uh, coaching this guy to get from 18 to 20 plus words a minute. And he'd got in his mind, he couldn't get past 18. But we kept working on it, working on it. And eventually he got better and better until he could pass the 20 words a minute. But it, it was a struggle. Those last few words per minute was a struggle. Um, but everyone's different. Their learning is different. It's, it's perseverance and not, not giving up is the thing. And, and the other good thing, if you can, is to have a buddy who you can go and practice with if, if possible. Um, I had a guy who lived around the corner from me. He was in the Navy. And I used to go around to his place nearly every other day and we sit in his living room with an oscillator and practice Morse code. He'd send to me and I'd send to him and would, I would write it down. But, and, and it's good to be able to do that if you can. Uh, even not, it doesn't have to be every day, but it, it, try and get to be with a buddy at least once or twice a week if you can, just to get that extra practice. Uh, sitting listening to a, what I would call a tape recorder can be a bit monotonous. Or you can have a CD player or an MP player and listen to it. That's fine too, um, but you, there's nothing better than having, like what we're doing now, is having real live communications. Um, and if you've got the, in, the courage, because you're all licensed, get on the air and send slow. Because if you send slowly, when the, 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 the code of conduct is for the person that's going to come back to you is to send at the same speed you're sending. So if you send 17 words a minute, be prepared for someone to come back at 17 words a minute. Or if, if Matt sends it 30 words a minute, he'd better be ready for someone to come back to him at 30 words a minute. So, you know, it's, it's important, you know, not to send faster than you can receive on the air. Because the code of conduct usually is, someone's gonna send it back to you at the same speed, and then if you start speeding up, the person on the other end will think, well, we've got somebody here that's good, let's get going, and they'll, they'll send it back to you just as fast as you're sending. So if you, if you speed up, they'll speed up. Like I've said to you, how fast do you want to go? You know, when you're sending to me, I'll send it back to you at 20 words a minute, 30 words a minute if you want, but it gets a bit much when you're struggling receiving it. Yeah. Any questions on that? No, that's good, thank you. Yeah, it's important to respect the other person when you're sending and receiving. So, who's next? Am I next? All right. David. Who are you gonna to send to? Uh, Matt, you wanna try? And what letter was it? Z. Z? Okay, Z. This is Z for Zulu, right? Yeah. Sorry, do it again. Here we go. Get to send it back to him. Yeah. Yep. Four, four. Uh, 
very good, very good. It just takes practice and listening and trying it out. It, it's, it really can work. Let's try something. Uh, that's that's the whole alphabet we covered. So I'll yeah, just Matt uh, go. Matt's going to go, Matt's going to go. and yeah. uh, who are you going to send to, Matt? That's just a test to make sure you got it. <laughs> Who else are you going to send it to, Matt? Can you switch the uh, panels around in your gear? Yeah, I know. In front of the guy who has on, uh, who worked left handed. Okay. And um, I, I learned it at the station, so I switched it on. It's, and I can't watch you change. I have to do it like this at a normal class station because it's. Oh, it's it is. Yeah, so when you give the DAS with this, I have to DAS here and this over here. And I can't switch it back in my brain. I try to do it. I have to do it like this. Well, it, it works for you, though. Yeah. And that's what we said earlier. If it works for you, don't break it. <laughs> so you want to like to send to James? Sure. Should I go a little bit slower? Uh, no, I need to go do your... What, what is it set to? Uh, 20. That's fine. All right. Zero. Yeah. I'll save again. Uh, seven? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Nine. Very good, very good. It's just practice. Yeah. You ready for a quick one, Dan? Sure. Okay. You want to send to Dan? Seven. Received. I did that little uh, game, uh, Morse Runner. Have you, have you done that, Morse yeah. Runner? Yeah. And when you when you do it correctly, you, know, you put the call sign in and you put the correct uh, information in. They come back with uh, R. That's what you want to hear is R. If, you know, if you hear anything else, sometimes the, if they want to play games, they send NR or again, send it again or whatever. But uh, it's pretty good. It, it, you almost feel like you're doing it with a real person. So, have you ever done that, David? Yeah. Morse runner? I, I like it. It's kind of a, it took me like forever to figure out how to score on the thing because, you know, there's no real good instructions on it. You just have to kind of figure it out on your own. Well, let me send you all something. We'll start, I'll send one word to Dan. You ready for the word? Sure. It's actually going to be a word. T the the James, are you ready for a word? And I'll I'll send it slowly for you. I'm completely lost. Can you speed that again? 
I'll send it again. Yeah, there's a noise. Um, sorry, send that again. Are you ready? Yes. I don't have anything I'm looking at. They're just out of my head. The first time I thought that, I thought the first letter was a D, and I thought that was a strange word for a Navy man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I, I only I only got three letters. Well, listen to it again. I'll go. I, I'm, I don't know the first letter. It's coming up a bit. It da did it B. Brown. Brown. Yep. Oh, Great map. Big. big. It should have been the big brown. <laughs> big brown fox. This is the alphabet, so everybody can just you know, and we're we're just listening to it thinking about it and coming out with what the word is. You ready, Dan? Jumped. Yeah, that's cool. So I just need the next word in there. Yeah, but you also heard the rhythm as yeah. well, I'm sure, and you, you got that. You ready for one, James? Yeah. Just a word. It's four letters. Over? Yeah. You ready for another one, Matt? Ready? Lazy? Yes. And the last letter, last word coming up for you there, Dan. Dog. Dog. So that was the whole thing. Now I'll collect some of these back. And we'll, we'll come back to those as well. But these were all the letters of the alphabet and the numbers as well that we just covered and one that's number two three four five just pick one at random well you can pick anyone you can pick anyone you like i picked the easy one <laughs> That's first choice. <laughs> so these are just random words, but they're all, all important words for building what we what we're hearing and how to send it. Um, I'll send this one to you, David, and see what you get. You ready? A. A. Yeah. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Would you like to try and send it back? I'll, I'll send it to you and then you can send it back. T H E. Yeah, that's it. And then the last word was Yeah. 
if the letters are there, even though your spacing might be off a little bit, but the letters are there. If you were sending that to someone, and you, you, they would get that letter and get the words. Especially if you leave between the two next, the next word, leave a slightly lo longer space, so they know that was the word. So you'd find what will happen there is if a computer was trying to decode it, it would probably be come up with th and then a space and is. See, Nikki Nin. So let's um, see, see Matt over there. And uh, I'll send the same letters, words to you. Okay. Um, not in the same order, probably. Ready? Yeah. So was that a letter A, N, N? The. A. This. This. Yep. So that's perfect. James, would you like to try that? I'll send it in different order. Sure. Try this one. Ready? Yeah. And? Yeah. And the next one. A. Yep. Yeah. And then the last one. This. Everything went to sleep. Perfect. Dan, are you ready? Sure. And this and ready. Hey, perfect. So, I'm gonna let Dan send. You've got a number two, right? Who's, oh, you've got a number four. You remember John Carson? The Carnac uh, and the So, it, it really go back to me if you know that. Dave, Dave and I know that. Dave really back. So, okay, uh, I'll, I'll try Dave. Dave. All right. Ready? Yeah, just go around and get everybody. Everybody can that way learn and practice. Please. Please. 
Well done. Enjoy that? Yeah. It was getting less and less pressure, you see, now. So who's got the number three? Matt, who are you going to send to first? Uh, you. Very good. So, who are you going to send to next, Matt? James. James. Ready. Pick on James. Ready? Yeah. Any? Number f you had a five in there, I believe. Oh, yeah. But you know, we'll let you off Can on that. Again? Yeah, try, try again. Good. Okay. Uh, this is the last word. Send it back. Send it, want to try sending the bag? Um, first one was every, yep. I think. Yes. What was the next one? Who? That's the. Yep, perfect. So, who are you going to send to next, James? I'll send it to Matt. So QSY 250 hertz and send it to who else?
<laughs> Just trying to mimic. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should have been H, not five. But uh, okay. Negative ready? Yes, sir. Very good. So how, how would you find it? You find it starting to gel a little bit? Good. And the only thing, if you can, is when, when we're actually receiving, if, because there are short letters, if, if it's possible not to write it down, it's, it'll pay you off as we get more and more into sentences. Well, we'll take a five to ten minute break. We'll say ten minutes. I'm going to put some uh, apple cider out for everyone. You can help yourself. And there's some digestive biscuits as well. I'll just serve them out here for you. And then we'll get back to sending a few more. Well, we'll start up again. I've just handed out all new. Did, did everyone finish their card? The first card I gave out. Everybody's. I did not. Okay, let's mine. let's do yours. Your first one. And who are you going to send to? Uh, Matt, you got one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. This one's extremely difficult. Hey. <laughs> That's which, W H I C H. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you got it. <laughs> you got it. James, you ready? Yes. I've just handed out everybody a new card. Uh, we'll we'll all go around one more time and then we'll call it a night. Um, Dan, you got a, you've got the new card. Yes, I do. So who are you going to who are you going to send to?
correct? No, no. Hey. Cool. Who else are you going to send to? David. So well done, Dan. James, can you send me an H, please? No. That's four. That's four. Yeah. You try not to count them, but listen to the rhythm. Yeah. Cool. H's. H's. So I think what you might want to do during the week is practice the H's and the fives and the S's a little S's, bit more. Um, I's and E's. Yeah. And that way um, you'll find it comes a bit easier. So it's your turn to send. Who are you going to send to? Um, I'll send to Matt. Yeah. Uh, I'm having a brain fart. The U is... Did it all? Did it all? Okay. I know it's so Alright, I'm starting over, Matt. Well done. Well done, Matt. Well done, James. All right. Well done. Send it again. Who are you going to send to? Um, Dan, are you ready? Sure.
Yep. Oh, well done down though, you got it. Very good. Ready, David? Yes, sir. And it went to sleep. Ah, that's well done, Matt. You're good. What's up with you? Okay. No, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. And the man to work? No. Oh, any? Any? Any. Well, in. well done. So what do you all think? Is that is that the way we're doing things? Is that going to help you improve? Very yeah. much so. Yeah, it, it is. It will help you. And like, if you can also, James, and I'm not picking on you, is on. <laughs> well, yeah. is try and try and on the shorter words, try and not to to write them down if you can. If you can, uh, I always like to write stuff down as well. Uh, but it's if you're having a QSO with someone and they've just told you about their rig and their antennas and stuff, uh, it'll be much faster for you if you can get that and then get straight on the air back with the key. Because uh, if you're still trying to write it down, um, it can slow things down for you. It, it can reduce the uh, enjoyment. And uh, usually when we're sending on the air, we try and keep things pretty short anyway. And use, and use abbreviations where we can, right? Like RST and so on. HWCP. How copy? Question mark. Yeah. 
and, th and th that's that's the way that the contesting works as well as uh, Matt was saying. So we'll continue with the same kind of things next week. I suggest you try and practice. I would like to try and get all the cards back so we can use them again. And if you want to hang on to these, that's fine. Just bring them with you next week. And uh, if you're not able to make it to class because there's such a small group, let me know uh, that you're tied up or whatever. And that way, uh, if there's not enough people, we might delay the class or we may have to, uh, no, not have a class. If there's only if there's only James and I coming to the class, then we might as well stay at James's house. <laughs> you know. So anyway, I appreciate it, guys. We'll start tidying up and putting things away. And uh, a lot of fun. yeah, it, it, it can be a lot of fun. Thanks. Daddy da di da 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 What do you hear over the air? CQ serenade. So you don't know just what it means. Dust your shoes off, shake out your jeans. Get on your feet, jump to the beat of CQ serenade. CQ has gone and brought us a new rhythm. That swing and all the cats by the ear. <laughs> <laughs>